the, the, uh, the vows and questions of, of coordination. I'm going to begin a dare with you just to answer one, and then you'll pick up uh, later. A dare, do you now reaffirm the vows that you've previously taken, and you recommit yourself to them in the discharge of your obligations? I do. Dare has been elected by the attorney to serve a second term on the session and a first term. Um, Jane, do you reaffirm your faith in Jesus Christ as your own personal Lord and Savior? I do. Do you believe the scriptures of the Old and New Testament to be the Word of God, totally trustworthy, fully inspired by the Holy Spirit, the supreme, final, and the only infallible rule of faith and practice? I do. Do you sincerely receive and adopt the Westminster Confession of Faith and the catechisms of this church as containing the system of doctrine taught in the Holy Scriptures? I do. You promise that if at any, if at any time you find yourself out of accord with the system of doctrine as taught in the Scriptures and as contained in the Westminster Confession of Faith and the catechisms of this church, you will, on your own initiative, make known to your church session this change which has taken place in your views with the assumption of this ordination vow. Do you affirm and adopt the essentials of our faith without exception? Do you subscribe to the government and discipline of the evangelical Presbyterian Church? I do. Do you promise subjugation to your fellow presbyters in the Lord? I do. And then for both of you. Have you been induced as far as you know your own heart? to accept the office of ruling elder from love of God and sincere desire to promote His glory in the gospel of His Son. Do you promise to be zealous and faithful in promoting the truths of the gospel and the purity and peace of the church, whatever persecution or opposition may arise to you on that account? Will you seek to be faithful and diligent in the exercise of all your duties as a ruling elder, whether personal or relative, private or public, and to endeavor by the grace of God to adorn the profession of the gospel in your manner of life, and to walk with exemplary piety before this congregation of, God, of which God will make you an officer? I will. Are you now willing to take responsibility in the life of this congregation as a ruling elder, and will you seek to discharge your duties, relying upon the grace of God, in such a way that the entire church of Jesus Christ will be blessed? Amen. Uh, having responded to these questions, we have one question for uh, you, the congregation. Do you, the members of this congregation, continue to receive these persons as ruling elders, and do you continue your promise to yield uh, them and to them and all your officers all that honor, encouragement, and obedience in the Lord to which the ordination as an officer entitles them according to the Word of God and the Constitution of the Evangelical Presbyterian Church. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Um, now we uh, invite um, for the laying on of hands that you were ordained as uh, teaching elders or ruling elders in, in the church to come forth. Um, Jane, Jane is going to stand and uh, just stand if you'd like to come and lay your hands on her. We invite you and Wayne Bo will offer a, a solemn prayer for this occasion. God, we are grateful for this, this wonderful, solemn, rich occasion. By the gifts of your Holy Spirit, you have set apart your servants, Jane and Adair, to serve in this particular way. We pray every blessing upon them, blessings of Jesus Christ, his love, his mercy, his kindness, his wisdom to them. Give them, Lord, the mind of Christ himself. Give them wisdom and leadership. Give them discernment in both public and private living. Give them grace and mercy to serve 
as you would have them serve. And Lord, give them the strength of your Holy Spirit to carry this duty upon their hearts and their minds. Lord God, bless them in every way. And let this congregation be blessed because of their leadership and their, their fellowship with one another. Lord, keep your hand of care and protection upon them. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, uh, Jenny, the right hand. So. <laughs> <laughs>